Hello gaming industry of the world and welcome to my video on on a gaming computer build for under 4,000 Great British Pounds or 6,000 US Dollars so first of all this is for this is overkill okay guys for you normal PC gamers who just like to play on normal 60 FPS games this is ever this is a lot of a high-end computer guys but I'll explain the parts to you and why they are so high-end in this video so first of all let's look at the case now I've picked the Corsair Obsidian case full tower obviously and this is about 220 pounds just because it's full power it's got a lot it's got a great airflow as as I've heard from forums, reviews and other stuff. I mean, it is a bit plain, it's nothing too snazzy, it's just a plain amazing case. So like I said, that is about £220, which is about $300 I think. I'm not too sure about the dollars. The motherboard, we're going for an ASUS um, P9X79 Pro motherboard. And you'll see the reason for this in the next few slides of this um, video and I have used one of these in previous builds just because these this is an extreme motherboard again this is about 230 pounds about the same price as the case so next we are going with an Intel i7 um, extreme edition 3970x clocked at 3.5 overclockable to about 3.6 I think and this is about 800 pounds guys so that is a lot of money just for the CPU. Okay, so that'd be about a thousand dollars, I think, one thousand one hundred dollars or something. But again, that is why we have had this because this motherboard supports this um, processor or CPU. So next, we're up with the RAM, the random access to memory. We go with Corsair Dom Dom Denominator Platinum 64 gigabytes DDR3 clock to 2133 megahertz CS CAS 9 UTS series so as you can see guys these are absolute bad boy RAM things are just look amazing I mean you can tell they ain't no 20 pound stuff off um, eBay but again this is so this motherboard supports all this this okay guys it supports everything in this that's why it's such an expensive motherboard because it is one of the best on the market so anyway this is about I think it's about 700 pounds guys to be truthful I mean it is a lot of money but I just I mean just look at it guys I don't need to say anything really just look at it and you'll know it's amazing so next of all is the big boy we're having a gigabyte GeForce GTX 772 gig DDR5 I mean that is an absolute bad boy of a graphics card guys this can support up to four monitors guys okay so it's got um, two um, VGA outputs and two HDMI outputs as you can see on the picture but look at them bad boy cases it's got three um, gigabyte fans on it what's cool it down 100% and again with this motherboard and this case guys you can have up to three of them graphics cards and no four I think is it three or four I think you have up to three graphics cards, maybe fourth one. So you can have three of these guys, and these are about £350 each, £320 each. Okay, guys. So, yeah, I mean, this, this would put, output some serious um, FPS. But if you're, have, if you're going to buy a gaming computer, guys, or you're going to build one, the processor will only give you a bit more um, FPS on the game. But if you buy, I say, a thousand pound processor and a two hundred pound graphics card, just for an example, you'll get thirty FPS. That's just an example, guys. But if you buy a thousand pound graphics card and a two hundred pound CPU, your frames will rock it to about seventy, eighty. Do you know what I mean? They'll just rock it. So put more money into your graphics card than your CPU. CPU, guys, is just basically the brains of the computer do you know what I mean like this is your limbs what do all the work and this is just the brain what outputs the signal do you know what I mean guys are, are you with me on the same line and this is like the heart what does all the messaging the messaging like all the pumps the blood around the body if you know what I mean guys and this is like 
you know, whatever. But yeah, moving on swiftly, we've got a uh, hydro uh, hydro series H one hundred I series Corsair to its uh, PCU cooler. That's it's right in front of me. I still can't pronounce it. This is about ninety pound, and this is oh guys, your nothing's overheating in this computer with the amount of fans, airflow great stuff it's water cooled again hydro series i've used this in another build but yeah absolutely amazing guys next last not not last next we've got an ssd and ocz vertex series 250 gig sata 2 250 gig solid state drive so yeah an ssd card guys a sata 2 not a sata 3 this is 700 and something pound guys so yeah i mean the price of it does rock it but it puts out it Outputs on the performance, okay, guys. That little thing has more memory than my PlayStation. That little tiny disc about the size of your BlackBerry smartphone, maybe a little bit smaller, has a bigger memory than a big hard drive on a PlayStation 3, guys. I mean, I've got a big one, like one, you like a big terabyte one in my like big terabyte size in computer, if you know what I mean. But from a PlayStation, it's only 40 gig. So for the equivalent to a terabyte in a computer, that size is about a 40 gig in a PlayStation, if you know what I mean, if you're, if you're on the same lines as me. So next of all, we're having a 3 terabyte, 3.5 inch, 7000 revolutions per minute, 64 megabyte cache, 64 megabyte cache SATA free hard drive. This is about 70 pounds, guys, I think. But is that, you'll, ne you'll never need any storage ever again with this, um, Bloody bloody blah, blah with this hard drive, and I'm sorry if my voice just sounds the same, guys. It's just because of this twelve pound mic I've got from Argos. So yeah, I do have a lot of liveness in my voice, but I'm sorry if it's just like, hey guys, this is a video. It's just because of my shitty mic that it sounds boring. But my audio levels and my equalizers, guys, on my computer are absolutely rocketing at the minute. So yeah, I'm sorry if it just sounds dead boring, but. Yeah, that's the mic, not me. So last but not least, we have a power pack, or a power supply, or a PSU, whatever the fuck you want to call it. So we have a Corsair ATX 12000i Professional Series Digital ATX case. It is a 12000 watt power supply, guys, if you didn't know, know that. This is about £120, I think, maybe. I'm not too sure on that. I've sort of forgotten. But this is a substantial amount of power for your computer, guys. You'll never need to upgrade this again. I mean, you can up, you can run through probably about two and a half computers off this if you wanted to. It just got that much power in it, guys. Honestly, I mean, you could power all your computer, another computer, and a bit more if you really needed to. But I doubt. No, you could put about this computer and a bit more. I'd say on this power pack, guys. It is. It will just. Oh, it's just amazing. So obviously all of this good stuff guys it comes at a big price doesn't it i mean none of this comes cheap but as in, but as the price is it is coming in at are you prepared £3,649.09 and, and in dollars that is £5,745.47 so after all that guys it is a very substantial amount of money and that is not including the £100 keyboard, £100 mouse, £150 monitor, quad monitors, uh, or triple monitors. Not including the £100 mic if you're doing YouTube videos for your recording. Not including the £70 webcam for your HD um, face recording. Okay guys, so that is just that is just the computer only. I mean, there's no peripherals with that. Um, I'm guessing... Uh, yeah, I'm, I'm presuming it will come with cables like audio jacks and stuff. I'm presuming it will. But anyway, guys, thank you for watching this about nine minute and a half episode of um, computer build at f under four thousand pounds. I think it was. So I'm just going to skip to the beginning. So yeah, under four thousand pounds, just about under six thousand pounds, just. So anyway guys, thank you for watching this absolutely amazing computer build and goodbye and I hope you guys all have one of these by the next episode. Goodbye for now.